Today we're going to learn how to get information from your web page back to the server. So first things first, in order for us to do that, we're going to have to get the post request. So in order for Flask to get the post request, we're going to have to import requests. So go back to demo.py and we are going to build on the existing demo.py and let's just import requests. And then uh, we'll be working on the home page for a little bit, so it's going to be um, so we're going to call the post method on the well for the home page. So our methods instead of get, we're going to do get comma post. And in order for us to get the post request, it's just just, just going to be some if and else statement on the functions. So um, we have to call, we have to tell Flash what to do if you get a post request, what to do if you get get request. So let's just do a if statement here. If request dot method equals get just indent the page. We're gonna return render template dot index html and if we're not getting a get request we'll be getting post requests so else just pause here at for a moment we're going to work on the index.html so that we know what to do with the post request so you know for us to get information back uh, we're going to have to put a few lines that correspond that responds to the home page so on here, we are inheriting from structure.html and we have the message saying this is the home page. So what we want to do is we're going to have, we're going to put the form in here. What that means is we're going to have to tell the form that is a post request and it's sending the information back to the home page. So form action equals to slash so what this means is basically telling that okay this is where the information is sending to is sending to slash it's basically the home page in the route and then the method equals to post And then we're going to have to tell them what information we want to use. We want to send back. So input. And then we're going to do a placeholder. So what the placeholder is, is let's say if you're trying to log in to your Facebook page. On the login section, it's going to tell you, hey, this is, um, this is where you put your email address in. And this is where you put the password in. And usually it has, it has something to say in there. That it, that's the placeholder. And the placeholder can be anything. It does not have to relate to what, what information is sending back. But of course, you want it to tell you what you, you want it to tell the people that are visiting your page what you are sending, um, what you're getting from this section. So the placeholder, um, let's just do username. Username. And name is what we send back. I'll, I'll show you what that means later, but um, this is basically telling Flash, um, okay, we're sending name, we're sending this back to um, back to the server, back to the backend side. So name equals to username, and type equals text. This tells um, this basically tells Flask what type of information it is. I'm sorry, it just basically tells the um, browser what type of information that is. So we make some according changes. So next, with password, we need a, I mean, with username, we need a password.